Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can edit the php.ini file in Hostinger, what it actually is, and where it's located. So let's get right into it. For this tutorial, I will be using the official Hostinger tutorial website uh, since they have a lot of tutorials which are very useful for a lot of different topics and they will help you with pretty much any questions you have regarding the use of their service. Now, well, without further ado, let's get right into what the php.ini file is and it is a configuration file containing your web server's PHP settings. It lets you control the PHP related rules and select the size limit when uploading files and hiding error messages. Uh, then uh, the PHP configuration file location varies depending on the web server. So this is where it's located for uh, hosting her. Uh, now uh, the PHP file can vary depending on the server, PHP version and operating system. Then when running PHP, the system searches for the file in the following places. The server application programming interface module, the PHP runtime configuration environment variable, and a current working directory uh, searchable using the get C WD and parentheses function, and then the install PHP or web servers directory. Uh, to find it via HPanel, just go to HPanel into hosting and into manage, click the file manager and navigate to your site's root directory. In this case, it's home username public underscore HTML. Select the plus file option, uh, enter any file name with the PHP extension, such as PHP info.php and click create, click create new file, uh, then right click and edit it. And then you enter this code here and click save changes. Uh, enter your domain.tld slash php info.php into your web browser and hit enter. And then search loaded configuration file. The php.ini path should look like this. Uh, this method also works in cPanel uh, to look at the php.ini file. So if you know how to use cPanel, you might have already found it. Uh, now, uh, the important parameters are display errors, error reporting, uh, error log file uploads, upload max file size, uh, post max size, allow URL OF open, allow URL include, session name, session auto start, session cookie lifetime, memory limit, and so on and so forth. There is a, a lot of useful um, commands or lines in the PHP file. And to edit it, uh, this is using cPanel. You can go to your cPanel, go into software, and then multi -php INI editor, uh, click the basic mode tab and then click editor mode for in-depth customization. Uh, then select the home directory or domain path and uh, the latter will configure your specific php.ini file. And that is pretty much it. That is for cPanel. I just added that as a bonus at the end. However, I hope this tutorial explained everything to you guys and I'll be seeing you guys next time.